Well, I swear this is not my P223. This is a brand new fan in my collection. Yes. I got this fan yesterday. This is a Lakewood K223 third gen. A little weird. It looks exactly like my P223 third gen, but it's under the Kmart brand. I'll show you. So this is a weird one. So yeah, I got this fan yesterday at Goodwill. Um, another Goodwill, the, the one that were not, not the same Goodwill where I got my other fans from. This is a different Goodwill. It was 14, but it was 15 with tax. So $15, not bad. Again, this is like my P223, basically a reskin under the Kmart brand. So yeah, brand new to the collection, very unexpected find. I've been working on it all day. I cleaned it and whatever. So now I'm gonna present it to you guys. Let's take a look. So here's the top. It's in that cream color. This is the Kmart sticker with the Kmart logo, not Lakewood. It doesn't say Lakewood on it. It is Lakewood, but it doesn't say it. It's got the original handle, the 80s handle, some scuffs and marks. Gotta get that off later. And there's the side. Front grill is different from the back grill. Don't know why. Um, yeah, so this grill is actually split in half. You can see how it's cracked in every place, even here. So it's split all the way to here, where the whole grill is cracked. So I have it tied together by a twisty tie, so it doesn't because it's split down to here in half. I don't need it split all the way across. So this is holding it together for now. It's the way that's the way it was. I didn't do that. It's got eight original screws, one, two. The ones on the sides were missing, so I replaced them with some brand new screws. There's the bottom. Very light, not really much rust at all, but that's all the rust on the fan is right there. Just a little bit on the side. It's got the third generation blade, obviously. So, yeah. And that's basically that. Here's this side. This one has the sticker for attached and closed feet to the bottom of the fan. Yeah, well, this one doesn't have feet. So this fan tried to tip over, and that's not good because I have no feet from any fan anywhere. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Let's turn it around. Here's the back. The cabinet appears to be bent upward i never seen that before don't know how um no idea what that's about you can see the back grill the slats are longer in length than the front one and it feels like a different type of plastic which is awkward there's the motor the motor and the back grill are slightly yellowed i never seen a motor get slightly yellowed before can't see it on the camera but in real life it, it's very kind of yellowy looking but not too bad um it's got a McMillan third gen motor, 1.7 amps. I did kilowatt meter this fan. The average is 1.77. So it's right on par with what the fan advertises. Let's see what that sticker says. Come on, I got this fancy phone and it doesn't even focus. Piece of junk. Why, why have a fancy phone if it doesn't focus? 1.7 amps. It's got the wire colors. I did not open up the motor. I didn't really have to. It's The fan was very good on oil. Even when I got the fan, it was uh, had a really good spin down. And I don't want to open up the motor or lose that spin down. So I just added some oil to it and then keeping the spin down because all my other third gens have terrible relations with oil. My slash m which actually is over here that fan i just oiled this last week and look okay that was not a good example but i oiled it last week and i ran it this weekend and it was already kind of not great so it's just these weird third gen motors are problems 
So since this fan is oiled and it's good, I'm leaving it that way. I didn't have to open up the motor, so I'm not going to. I just added some uh, oil to the existing oil so I don't lose that spin down. So yeah. There seems to be, not rust, this looks like missing paint or something. Like this doesn't feel like it was painted all the way. Like they just went with the paint sprayer thing. They just went once and then it's like that in some other spots. Like the top here, that's not rust. It's just their paint is not there. Like they must have just ran over it once with the sprayer. Whereas on this side, they probably went up and down many times. So whoever painted this didn't do it right. Maybe it was a machine, but I don't know. I never seen a, another Lakewood that's kind of not painted right like this. So I don't know, but yeah, that is the back. Nothing, I did the same pattern. Since I had eight original screws, I just did two original on top and bottom and then the after aftermarket screws, yeah. See, when you say, oh, I had to replace it with replacement screws. Saying replacement sounds kind of eh, but F saying aftermarket, that sounds a lot cooler. So I put some aftermarket screws in there. Heck yeah. I feel like I talk about a car. Like, oh, I got some aftermarket parts. Like, really, they're just like replacement parts. You know what I mean? Like, oh, here's a replacement muffler. But you just say aftermarket because it just sounds cooler. So I'm going to start using that with the fans. Yeah, I got aftermarket screws. Instead of replacement screws, they're aftermarket screws. It's a lot cooler. Uh, get the bottom. more of that weird paint no rust anywhere i love how they do this on the bottom of the cabinet like you no one can read that because lakewood was lazy and like you know what you know what we're gonna do we're, we're not we're not gonna use sticker because sticker sticker costs too much money so we, we just do it stupid like what were you doing lakewood like lakewood was doing stickers on the bottom inside forever and then all of a sudden you're like you know what let's let's just print it on the fan because that's that's smart yeah not really Dumb. Anyway, here we go. Here's how I... It's gonna tip, so I have to hold it. it runs faster than my other third gens. Probably because it's good on oil. Medium, it looks like it might stand, but I don't trust it. Looks like it might. Drop it to low. So I don't know why, but this seems to run faster than all my other third gens. I have a P33 third gen and then this one. They both run slow like slugs, but this thing is really fast. And the amperage is right on par, so this has got a very healthy motor. That's why I didn't want to open it up and ruin its, you know, the way it is. If it's in good condition, I don't want to touch it. So yeah. God, I'm very happy with the outcome of this fan. Which is just weird, because, like, I have a P33 that looks just like this, and I always get, like, which one is it, you know? I almost wish it was just, like, not the same. Like, I wish it had the Samsung motor with the screw in the middle, because then that would be more different, and it would feel like a different fan instead of just a reskin. Because that's what I feel now, but I'm not going to complain. i never seen these for sale, really, online. So, I don't know how rare they really are, but it don't matter to me. So, uh, yeah. Back up behind. Oh. It's got a good spin down as well. Yeah, I cut my finger, and I gotta use a baby band-aid, like a loser. Um, that screw hole right there, it was sharp as all heck. I, I just grabbed the fan to move it or something, and... I sliced my finger upwards and I got like a nice almost inch long cut. So I had to put tissue, like a thing of a tissue there and then I had to put a bandaid over it because it was bleeding a lot. Luckily, there is no rust or anything so hopefully I don't die. But if I do die, then I guess you'll find out when I don't upload no more. But I don't think I will, so. I don't know why, but my hands are very shaky for some reason, so apologize for that, but whatever. So yeah, um, that was the KTD3 third gen. Feels weird to say that, but yeah. If I could have chosen it, I would have got the one with the Samsung motor with the screw, but I don't control reality. 
but I'm not complaining. It's not a bad fan, you know, and I'm actually very, very happy with the way it runs. If this ran like my other fans, they'd be like, dude, but it runs fast and well, and it's good on oil, and that's what's important to me. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.